Hey Rebels, uh, good morning. It's uh, Thursday. I'm not even sure what day it is. Um, I'm gardening on uh, crutches and pain meds. Haven't been out of the... Watch it, back up Chief. No, nope. haven't been out of the house for a week. So uh, I didn't get a video last week and didn't keep up with some of the other social media things I do. So I thought I'd at least try and uh, do a little uh, backyard uh, walkabout today. Um, just, uh, you know, some of you people are uh, been following me and, and you watch my stuff, so I want to uh, give you something to see at least because I appreciate you being here. So let me see if I can um, hobble around a little bit and show you some things. Uh, the lettuce bed is doing great. Uh, the asparagus is doing great and it's in some ways it's passed me by. I just haven't been able to get out and, and harvest for a week. Um, but it's okay. It'll, it'll, that means it'll just be healthier and stronger next year. Um, the lavender, and you know how important my big uh, lavender bed is to me. We had uh, one of the hardest winters, or the hardest winter uh, this past year since I've been here and uh, we we lost quite a bit uh, my wife did come out here and and cut some of it uh, back uh, actually cut a lot of it back um, but that's okay that's what plants do and that's what winter does and that's why i start uh, so many seeds every few years so uh, the lavender is still growing slow um, but it's growing and i'll be able to fill out that whole bed uh, anything that was uh, that debbie cut out we'll be able to uh, fill out and uh, it'll still be beautiful and continue to be beautiful. So let me let me hobble around a bit and, and show you a couple things. So most of the yard is really filling out. Um, I can't really uh, narrate as I go because I'm on crutches, but <clears throat> this bed here is, uh, that's a, a bee bomb right there. And man, does it get big and bees lose their minds and and it's great because it's right next to my vegetable garden so the pollinators along with the lavender bed out there and all the other flowers I plant uh, they're just they're everywhere got some whorehound in there and then there's quite a bit of um, zinnias in there and other things that Debbie likes uh, we brought them I always keep Debbie has me keep these uh, hydrangeas in the shed over winter so they stay dormant and we brought those out uh, a few weeks ago before I start hobbling and and they're doing real nice um, the garlic is doing great um, the uh, onions are are doing slow but they're all healthy and and good and uh, let me see if I can hobble over to that lettuce bed not sure what you're seeing here but yeah the, the salad salad bowl is doing great uh, the lettuce is happy the radishes are doing good been picking a few carrots the spinach is is pickable and and very happy so that makes uh that makes me happy um it was a big project all winter trying to keep it going and you've seen it didn't go the way I wanted but um, I think it's in going in the right direction and well it has been going in the right direction and and uh, it's doing great so it's worth the effort uh, this is the uh, couple blueberry plants I planted uh, last year planted them in these uh, uh, tubs these big pots um, so I could help control the uh, the acid content, the soil in the blueberries better, uh, just amending for the blueberries and then leaving the rest of the pot go to just uh, flowers. Uh, you can see there's a lot of uh, flowers in there, little Johnny jump ups. Those are, have all just uh, self sowed from a flat I planted last year. Um, always one of my, my favorite little flowers. Look how, look how happy and beautiful those are. And the, um, the blueberries, See if I can get closer. The blueberries are uh, really healthy too. This was they were first year plants last year. I, I bought 
gallon pot, so I expected them to be uh, in good shape and winter over, and, and they really are. They're really doing good. So happy with this bed. We'll just do flowers in the rest, probably uh, zinnias for the most part, and uh, whatever these um, Johnny jump ups, wherever they want to come up, they're more than happy. I'm more than happy to let them. Let me hobble over here and show you the lavender. So you can see the lavender bed. Debbie really went at it, and that's because a lot of it was pretty sketchy. Didn't, didn't like the winter. And again, it's no big deal because I got hundreds of plants uh, that I started from seed uh, that will be ready to go here in a month or so, and we'll fill this whole bed out, and you'll hardly even realize that uh, uh, that we ever cut it back like this. But she cut all the dead stuff out, and uh, that's just the way it is when you're gardening, right? Okay, let me hobble over and show you the milkweed. All right, if you uh, remember, last year I planted that milkweed for the first time. It was milkweed that I started from seed, and I put them in these pots. The pots have the bottoms cut out, and they're dug into the soil um, about a foot or so, so the roots can uh, the milkweed can access all the, all the space they want. Uh, they're pretty tender little plants by the time uh, fall kicked in. I did cover them with leaves and I wasn't sure how it was going to work out, but um, each one of them, there are three different types, uh, three different flavors of milkweed, and all three of them are coming up. So my understanding from some of my local gardening friends is these will really kick off in the high gear over the next month uh, there's the asparagus bed you can you can see many of them are already uh, quite large and I just haven't been able to keep up picking with them picking them so we'll just let it go and pick what I can when I can and we'll just uh, plan on enjoying it next year uh, get up into the garage and show you all the seed starting okay well here's here's the seed starting and a lot of the stuff that I've already up potted and uh, we're still getting plenty of uh, freezing weather overnight so I was uh, moving all the flats that have been up potted I've been moving them inside at night and uh, taking them back out during the daytime but I haven't been able to do that for a week or so and Debbie's tried to keep up with it a little bit but um, not as much as I'd like I wish these were all outside in the greenhouse now but Debbie went to work early and just didn't get a chance to do that so hopefully hopefully we can do that tonight and leave them leave them out there because uh, the foreseeable few, uh, weather doesn't show anything below 40 at night so if I can leave them out there for a whole week or so uh, that'll make me happy um, Sorry for the sketchiness of this video, but I am hobbling and uh, hope, uh, hope to do better next year. I mean next week. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and keep coming back. Bye bye.